Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be solving the Hanayama Cross Puzzle, which is a level 3 out of 6 on the Hanayama difficulty scale. Our aim is to separate the two cross puzzle pieces and then reassemble them back into their original position. Once we've done that, I will then place it on my own difficulty leaderboard based on how difficult I find the cross puzzle piece uh, puzzle to solve. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so here is the cross puzzle, and it's made up of two pieces, a gold piece and a silver piece. And there we go, we've got the first piece, the first move sorted. Uh, before we start on, on with it, we'll, we'll have a quick look at the box. Obviously, this is how it is now, this is what we're aiming for. Uh, and here it says, the puzzle's many angles limit the movement of the pieces. Even with all the corners, the puzzle still has smooth movement. Uh, solve the puzzle by making good use of vertical, horizontal, diagonal, and rotational movements. Okay, uh, it's level three on the difficulty scale, and yeah, that, well, let's see how we get on with it. Let's see how we get on. It's been a while since we've solved the puzzle, uh, a new one especially, but we'll see how quickly it can be done. And already I've lost where the starting point was. Okay, so first thing is I'm thinking, right, how do we how do we actually separate? Where's the gap? Because there can't be these pieces can't be solid the whole way through, which the silver piece is. So there must be a gap somewhere. Ah, there, on the gold piece. So we're aiming to slide out of there. Now what point on this silver piece will slide out of there? And it looks like it's that piece there. So we need to align that bit there with that gap there. That's what we're aiming for. Now, maybe that will narrow our focus a little bit too much and sort of we'll focus around this area and this area a bit too much. So maybe we'll just play around with it a little bit more. Try and make a little bit more progress before we try and come back to this. In terms of getting back to the original position, right now I would have absolutely no idea how and where to do that. We've gone with the random approach today. Random movements until everything falls apart. Oh, this feels close. Are we close? Yes, we are. Oh, it's tight, but I'm pretty sure. There it is. So we came off in that position there. All right, there we go. That was relatively quickly, but as I mentioned, uh, I think the challenge for this one might be putting it back together a little bit. Uh, might be putting it back together might be a little bit harder uh, but there we go that was pretty quickly well including me jabbering on for about three and a half minutes um, yeah yeah that was pretty good step one done now uh, now we need to put it back together and we'll try and do that by making sure we go back on in exactly the same position that we came off but I may have already lost that Let's just check if there is more than one possibility to, to get him back on. And there is, so that is an issue. I think it was this way around. Uh, so, so yeah, we'll, we'll try with this way first and, and see how we get on. That's right, let's be a bit more objective with this. So what I do know is that the part that says cross here, the silver piece that has the cross engraving, will be end up on the opposite side to the gold pieces engraving which says Hanayama in here. So I already know that this piece is going to want to go flat to this piece or lines up with that bit there. Uh, and I also know that the first move was essentially if this piece is here we came apart here. Oh, actually we're right back where we we're right back where we started. So that is not good, so we need to be a long way from here. Ah, there it is. That tiny little movement twist there. So I think I've been in this position quite a few times. It's very, very subtle little twist at the end. Here and it somehow yeah, just rotates into there, and there we've done it. 
We've reassembled the cross puzzle in well, closer to 20 to 25 minutes this time around. So nice and quickly taking it apart, but that probably was detrimental to the time it took to, to reassemble it. Uh, it's a nice little puzzle though. Yeah, it moves very well. Oh, well, it's, there's no force required even on that last move if you, if you get it right. Which, oops, yeah, it's going to take a little bit of practice to figure out that uh, or to get to get much smoother at that last move. Uh, but yeah, but there we go. Uh, cross puzzle, disassembled, reassembled, and now we need to place it on the leaderboard. So there it is, we managed to disassemble and then reassemble the Hanayama cross puzzle. Reassemble it was probably a bit more difficult mainly because I went straight into it all excited, didn't really track how we separated it in the first place. Now all that's left to do is to place the cross puzzle on my own difficulty leaderboard. Now we're definitely not looking top two shelves in terms of this, it was a three out of six on the Hanayama scale so we're definitely not looking at the, at the possibly even the top half. We're also not looking at the bottom, possibly two rows, definitely not the bottom row. It has been quite a while since I solved the puzzle, so uh, there might have been an element of, of rustiness coming into solving the cross puzzle, so I guess I'll, I'll bear that in mind when, when placing it on this leaderboard as well. And I think where we're looking is this third shelf in the middle here. Now, pretty much all the puzzles along here could be placed at one end or in front or behind the other they're all very very similar though very different it's almost a, a personal preference in terms of where these puzzles rank but i definitely don't think we're harder than the puzzles up here like the coaster and the hexagon and i also think we're, we're probably a bit harder than the g and g and the dolce puzzle i think if we compare the cross puzzle to a very similar puzzle in the level four coil puzzle are we easier or harder than the coil I think the coil's a bit bigger, there's a bit more possible movement. I think we're easier, the cross is easier than the coil. So then it's a case of are we easier or harder than the qubit or the SNS puzzles. And I think we're harder than the SNS. So we found our place. We are between the SNS and the coil puzzle. So there we go, we disassembled the cross puzzle, we reassembled it and we placed it on the leaderboard. If you want to get the cross puzzle for yourself, there are a few links below in the description. Thank you very much for being here. If you want to see me solve more of these puzzles and the solutions step by step to each and every one of them, then click my face here to subscribe and I will see you next time. Peace!